वेलकम टू अवर लैक्टो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइटामिन एंड दैट इज वाइटामिन बी फाइव और यू कैन से पैंटोथेनिक एसिड it is actually a water soluble vitamin and as we know that the water soluble wise i mean easily excreted from our body as compared to the fat soluble vitamins so it's mean that these water soluble vitamins cause toxicity rarely as compared to the fat soluble uh, vitamins so if we see the different sources of the vitamin b5 or you can say pantothenic acid so you can easily see uh, eggs liver and the yeast these are basically the major sources of the vitamin b5 okay so what actually the important role of the vitamin b5 in, in our body so it will act as a coenzyme so water soluble vitamins in majority cases they act as coenzyme okay so what is actually the coenzyme but just keep one thing in your mind it is actually a component of the coenzyme specifically what type of coenzyme coenzyme a so so first of all we see what is mean by the coenzyme so as we know that there are lot of enzymes in our body okay and enzyme has two side one side is actually called the active side one side is called the active side okay and other side is for the actually the active side is for the attachment of the substrate here is the substrate will attach to the active side and convert into the product but there is an other side in that side you will see the attachment of the coenzyme so coenzyme is actually a cofactor so enzyme does not work until the coenzyme will attach to the enzyme this is very much important when the coenzyme attach to the enzyme then the enzyme will activate and it will be able to convert the substrate that will enter into the active side into the product so that's very much important it's mean that the coenzyme activate the different enzymes so it's play an important role in the activations of the enzyme okay so if we see the structure of the coenzyme a in which you will see the pantothenic acid or you can say vitamin b5 so here is the structure of the coenzyme a so first of all if you see at the top side hole is actually the attachment of the pantothenic acid here is the pantothenic acid or you can say vitamin b5 okay that is actually the part of the coenzyme a okay here is basically the phosphates group and they will attach to the sugar here is the sugar and here is the adenine okay that is actually the nitrogenous base okay so important function of the coenzyme a is the is in the transfer of the acyl group from one compound to another so acyl group is actually here here are basically the acyl group r c double bond o here is basically the structure of the acyl group and r is for alkyl so you can say different carbons can attach at the r side so r is for the general group okay so the most important components of the coenzyme a is actually the thio thiol group thiol group or you can say marcapto this is actually the functional group okay at this side you can say the attachment of the acyl group so if i say that here is basically ch3 c double bond o here is basically acetyl group okay that is actually the acyl group so that group can attach to the thiol group so if you see here if i remove the h and attach the s with the carbon and here is the ch3 so if you see here 
at this side you can say you can see that the this group so here is basically the acyl group that attached to the thiol group and after that you will see the carbon chain so this whole structure is actually from the ester and that is actually called the thiol ester this is actually the thiol ester so actually ester has functional group like this way here is it but instead of o here you see the r group here is the r here is the s c double bond o c double bond o and the r so just the replacement of the s with the o this is actually the thiol ester so it can be released acetyl group can easily excreted or transferred from one compound to another so that is actually the main function of the coenzyme a so lot of different uh, compounds can attach at the thiol group so you can say succinyl coa that is a succinyl coa or you can say fatty acyl coa so just you will see the replacement of the group at the thiol group so all the uh, compound like the succinyl group attached so it is called the succinyl coa if the fatty acyl group attached so so it is called the fatty acyl coa so this is actually the main functions of the coenzyme a okay but important thing you can also see that this is actually vitamin b5 is actually the part of the coenzyme a it can also be the part of the fatty acid synthetase there is another enzyme and that enzyme is the fatty acid synthetase that enzyme also contain the vitamin b5 so that's very much important okay so actually now we see that how pentothenic acid convert into the coenzyme so actually the vitamin b5 is the precursor of the coenzyme a okay so first of all you see that the pento phenate compound okay it will convert into the 4 phospho pentothenate okay in that case you will see the requirement of the atp atp will convert into the adp okay just one phosphate group is transferred to the pentothenate and it will convert into the 4 phospho pentothenate okay after that you will see the 4 phospho and pentothenoy cysteine okay in that case you again see the cysteine and the atp we transfer to the 4 phosphopentothenate and here is the ADP plus inorganic phosphate. Okay, that's very much important. It means ATP is just required in the attachment or the attachment of the cysteine to the 4 phosphopentothenate. All the comp components of the ATP will be released from the reaction. Okay, after that, you will see the 4 phospho pantothene for phospho pantothene that's very much important and uh, in after that you again see the formation of the d phospho coa and in this case you will see the transfer of the here is the atp and release only the inorganic phosphate group and last step you will see the formations of the coenzyme A that is the our main product and in the last reaction you will see the transfer of ATP and ADP just one phosphate will uh, given to the coenzyme A so overall you will see here is the main structure of the pentothenic acid so 
the most important thing which you have to remember where does adenosine comes from so adenosine comes from from here second last step because in this case you will see atp convert just a uh, give the adenosine group only the phosphate group will release it's mean the adenine group is transferred to the four phosphopentothene so here is the adenosine comes from and here are basically the two phosphates that actually comes from the atp and here is the form of the cysteine so here are in all these different step different compounds given to the pantothenate and ultimately you will see the formation of the coenzyme a so this is all about the vitamin b5 or you can say pantothenic acid if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much